Hey guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm here to do a pregnancy update for you. I am 22 weeks, so this will be weeks 21 and 22, being pregnant with twin identical girls. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's update. Let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was this diaper bag that I got, and then I'll get into my symptoms, my doctor's appointment, and I think that's it for this week. So I wanted to find a diaper bag that I could use after babies. So something that would just work as a purse. And somebody recommended this company to me, it's called Lily Jade. And they said, look at their bags because they're number one cute, they're functional, and then you can use them afterwards. I like to look at company stories on their website because you just get a feel for what they're all about. And she was saying that when she was pregnant with her first child, all the diaper bags were just really bright prints um, and just not like super cute. And then after she didn't need them anymore, she was just left with all of these diaper bags that she wasn't going to use for anything. So that's why they decided to create this company. So the one that I got is called, it, the style is Megan. And I got it in the black leather. I was debating between the leather and the black canvas, but I felt like the leather would be easier to clean. I can just like wipe it off. So I, first of all, when I got this in the mail, I didn't realize how big it was. It's really big, so you can fit so much in here. So the front has a pocket and it has like, I don't know, a decent amount of space there. Same with the sides, you get a pop pocket on either side, perfect for like your cell phone or something. For the straps, you get just two like regular shoulder straps or you can add this one on, which makes it a backpack. And somebody with twins was telling me, I'll show you guys, to get a backpack diaper bag because you want your hands to be free. So this works very nicely for that, so. Um, but let me show you the inside because that's kind of the cool part. It comes with a, Here's what the inside looks like. And it comes, it's called a baby bag and it's buttoned, it's snapped into it so you can take it out. And say you're like running into the store or something, you don't wanna bring your whole bag. You can just take this and that's all you really need. So, or like I give this to Andrew if he doesn't wanna take this whole bag, kind of thing like that. So in here you get this, which is a changing mat. I haven't even opened it yet. So you get a little changing mat. And then this has just a ton of different size compartments all around it. It has a zipper in here. It has a cell phone case, stretchy case. So it's just super convenient. And then if you, you know, just wanna use it like a normal bag, you just have it like this now with two, with just your, like your standard zipper on one side and then the two pockets on the other side. It feels just, very well made. It feels really durable and like it can take a beating with, especially with two little girls. So I'm really excited to use this and see how it actually works. Um, if you guys have one of these, let me know how you like it. They also have brown. If you guys are more of like a brown bag person, they have brown leather and just like a bunch of different options. So Really love that, I had to show you guys that. And I will leave their website down below if you guys wanna take a look at all the styles. Okay, as far as these two weeks have gone, I have felt the most normal, the most like myself since being pregnant. I find myself being productive like I used to, I get things done like I used to, I wake up and I can eat m most of this, you know, pretty much everything the same as what I used to eat, just I eat a little bit more now. But I made Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes the other night and it was so, it was the first time I've actually, I don't know if I wanna say craved it, but I haven't eaten anything like normal, normal healthy like that in so, so long. So it felt really good to eat that and to actually enjoy it. I also don't feel nauseous at night anymore. Thank goodness, that was just the worst thing Ever. it's the worst so um, yeah at night now I just I get tired a little bit more throughout the day I've been taking naps here and there just kind of 
I don't know, my body just sometimes will be like, okay, hey, you just need to rest. So I'll try to get a lot done and then I can tell I need to take a break, sit down, like have a snack or like watch TV for a little bit and then I'll like get up and try to do stuff again. And it's kind of like I have to take breaks. But as far as night goes, nighttime is when my body, I start to feel pregnant at night. Uh, during the day, I feel pretty normal. I just feel a little bit tight in my stomach area. And sometimes it'll just kind of tighten up a bit. And then I feel sometimes like I want to massage my stomach to like alleviate the tightness. And then the other day, it like really tightened up. So I don't know if that's, I think that's the Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, Cause it just happens every now and then. And it'll like, I can see my stomach kind of like just cramp up and then I'll sit down and it'll kind of slowly like release. It looks really bizarre. And I swear I can see both babies like where they are because when I lay down sometimes, it it looks like there's two lumps. It's just the strangest thing ever. But at night, I just feel a lot more uncomfortable. Um, my stomach just kind of hurts and it just feels just like, ow, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I definitely am most comfortable laying on my left side. Laying on my right side is not comfortable at all. It just feels just not right. So um, I've been laying on my left side, like if I'm watching TV, I'll try to lay on my side or kind of like angled on my back. And I try to support my stomach with like a blanket or something. And I just, like I say in every video, I can't even imagine what it's gonna be like in a couple months because I feel like, I don't, it's just crazy. I just am gonna get so big. And then I haven't been as achy in my legs as I was in my last, update video. So I ended up getting magnesium oil, so I put that on my feet or on my legs at night and that tends to help a lot. The other thing is I drink that, it's called Natural Calm I believe, and it's a magnesium kind of supplement and you mix it into water and I have the raspberry lemon flavor. So I'll do one or the other and it just gives me a little bit extra magnesium. And the doctor actually said, cause I was saying like my legs are pretty achy and he said have some magnesium and he was saying just take a pill. but I am, I hate taking pills and I'm already taking so many for all my vitamins. So I'd much rather use oil or do that little drink. It's much better. I haven't been working out really at all lately. I mean, I go on walks with Kyla and that's, I feel like if I go on a walk, that that's good. And then if I'm cleaning the house and just doing, keeping busy around the house, that again, just makes me like, gets my heart rate up and I feel like I've been active and it does tire me out. And then I, do, I really should start stretching, but I did try to do a pregnancy, it was like a pregnancy cardio video on YouTube and it felt really good. So I need to try to do those more often. But the thing is, I'm I since I feel good during the day and like feel like myself, I'm trying to get so much stuff done that I, you know, I wake up and I get ready and by the time I would have time to work out, then I just like don't want to, I'm done for the day. So I need to just do that right, in, right when I wake up. The other thing that's been happening in these past two weeks is a lot of kicks. I think I mentioned in my last video that I was feeling them, but now I feel them all the time. And I feel both babies, before I was feeling more the one on the right, but now I feel both and it's during different times of the day that I feel <clears throat> either one, it's kind of funny. Sometimes I'll feel both too, so I wonder if they kind of like, you know, respond to each other. But, and I can actually see the kicks, which I didn't think I'd be able to see for a really long time, but I can see movement. And every time I see a lot of it, like I'll catch it, like I'll be doing something and I'll kind of notice it and look down and then I'll, I can see it. So I try to record it and every time I take my phone out to record it, they stop kicking, of course. So, but yeah, people can feel it from the outside now. I swear that every time I have somebody try to feel, they stop moving. So yeah, oh, my stomach just feels so tight right now. But my last doctor's appointment was really good. Everything was on track. They are still measuring ahead. They each weigh a pound, which is great. Every like app that I have that tells you where your baby should be, it, they're 
it's under a pound at this stage so they're big which is great that's all I want and they just looked good the only other thing that I've really noticed that's changed this week is people can tell that I'm pregnant now before you could tell but I could wear flowy tops and you don't really you could, yeah I could get away with it but now people actually say something before I just get a lot of looks but people now say, oh, when are you due? And it's really funny because if you guys have twins or if you are pregnant with twins and you know this, and I've learned this quickly, it's the same thing with every single person. So somebody will say, oh, when are you due? And I'll say, you know, mid end December. And then they'll ask what the gender is. And then I, I just wait for it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's twins actually, it's two girls. And everybody just goes crazy, they're like, Oh my god, twins! Like everybody just freaks out. So yeah, I'm getting really used to that now because that happens every single time. I think that's about it. I will show you my stomach now. Here it is with my shirt. This definitely doesn't fit me right now, but I thought it'd be fine to film in. So just a lot bigger. I'm really wide, I've noticed. I mean, I don't know if that's because I have twins because they're like... It's not just one sticking out. But my stomach is just a lot wider, I've noticed. So that's it from the front and from the side. You can't, and then I have like a little more fat back here for like where my love handles are, but it's not like super bad. Here is my stomach. It gets really red and splotchy throughout the day. And I do have that line right there now. But yeah, it gets just really like patchy. So here is it, you can see it, so super duper hard and firm. Babies, ooh, hair, babies are growing. The other thing I've noticed is I have super intense veins that just go like this down my stomach, which is just crazy to see. That is everything for today's update. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this helpful. If you guys are pregnant, I hope everything's going smoothly with you. And that's all I have for you today. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to see all of my future uploads and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye. First up, I have one of the cutest onesies I've seen in my life. This is just so adorable. This is in a newborn size. And I love the thermal, the thermal material that it has. It has these little tiny light pink 